Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you guys doing? Today I'm up here at Cards and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the vehicle featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Wrangler. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specs, and show you many features that this Jeep has to offer. So we'll go and get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a nice, it's got a nice black clear coat exterior. This is the two-door model. It's got a nice brush, brush aluminum front and bumper with fog lights built in. This is the Sahara package, so it does come come fully loaded. It's got the original 18-inch wheels with, with Bridgestone Dueler AT tires. Factory running boards. Original spare tire on the back. Again, show you the rear storage area. Oops. Pretty decent amount of space in the back. There's your seat right here that flips down for extra cargo space. One nice little feature that these Sahara models have, they do come with remote start. Just hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. And there you go. We're going to shut it down and go inside. Inside, this does have a black cloth interior. All your power options are right up here in the dash. Your power windows, power door locks, or excuse me, your power door locks are on the dash. Down there is the power mirrors. So, let's go ahead and jump inside here. It's a very nice looking Jeep. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. I don't know if you saw that radio screen right there, but after you wait a little while and you start it up, it does have a nice little Jeep emblem label that shows up right there. It's got this custom white face gauge overlay I believe this is either by US Speedo or by Black Cat Automotive, I believe it is. But correct me if I'm wrong. This vehicle has 9,000 miles in its odometer. Very low miles. So, let's go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. <laughs> It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Very smooth power assisted steering. Just a little bit of stiffness to it. It's got a five speed automatic transmission with auto stick manual shiftability, pushing left to shift down and pushing right to shift up. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. All right, now we're gonna turn on the lights does have automatic lights, fog lights, hazards. The, both the windows are fully automatic. Well, automatic down, I should say. Now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. And now we're going to go back in, shut off all the lights, and now we're going to pop the hood and show you the engine. A 
at the business end of this Wrangler, we find here it's 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Dual overhead cam with four valves per cylinder. This engine produces 285 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's a very smooth running engine. It's got a stock air box right over here. Very clean under this engine compartment. This engine is very fuel efficient too. EPA fuel economy estimates for this range between 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway on regular unleaded gas. So, let's go ahead and shut the hood here. Just detach the latches. All right, now let's go ahead and go back in. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Very nice sounding engine. Parking brakes located right down here. Is your indicator lighting up? All right, now I'll go ahead and shut the door, roll up the window, check out some of the interior features. It's got its original navigation radio right here. Standard on the Sahara, I believe even optional on the, on the, oh, I forget what trim that is, uh, the uh, Rubicon. Yeah, it just came to my mind. Anyway, right here's your radio controls. You go through AM, FM, and satellite radio. You can also show your presets right here. You can go up to 12 presets on the on these vehicles. Right here's your direct tune, your scan, replay. Your clock shows right down there. Go through your information and your and your satellite browse. You can also show your nav map right there. Media down here. HDD, disc, and auxiliary. Your line ins right down here. Pull this out right here. And you do have a USB port. Right here's for your phone controls. No phones connected right now. You also do have a voice activation right up there. Back here shows your DVD and, and CD player. Menu right there. You can show your display settings, screen off, your default view or your or your own picture view up on there. You your system setup, nav setup, favorites, channel lock, subscription. You with all your audio and equalizer settings. My files, my music, my pictures, manage hard drive. Very nice system. Climate controls down here. Fan speeds right there. Temperature in your different zones. Front defrost. Push there for your rear defrost. Push there for AC. Turn it over here for recycler. Tovo power points over here. One. 15 volt power power outlet switch downhill assist and traction control off down here's your four-wheel drive transfer case I can show you that right now you just pull it straight on back and you're in four high go over once more and now you're into neutral and pull her all the way down now she's in four low there's your traction control off right there and the four-wheel drive indicator up there. We're up, back into neutral. Go up once more, now you're in four high. And then up once more, now you're into neutral. Or excuse me, two high. I find it convenient to have a manual transfer case so you don't have to worry about any electronics going bad. 
Two storage nets on the side. Storage inside the larger compartment down here. 12 volt power point. Right down here is just your 115 volt outlet. You also do have a smaller storage compartment up there. Glove box. Visors with mirrors up top. The top roof, the top roof is removable. The back, the back hard top can come off as well. I'm not going to do it right now because this is usually a two-hand job. Up here is your automatic dimming rear view mirror. Your cruise control is off to the left. Radio controls are behind the steering wheel. The left is your track seek and the right is your volume. The, these buttons right here in the center scroll through your presets. Right down here are all the controls for your heads up display. Right now it shows the compass and outside temperature. You can also show your average miles per gallon, your distance empty, estimated time, and your compass now back to your compass and outside temperature. Down on the other side you can show obviously your trip A and trip B, your economy. Wiper controls are right over here. It does have a tilt steering column. Does have a manual sliding seat with manual adjustment, manual recline. Let me go ahead and see if I can't show you in the back. Let's see if I can't slide this seat forward all the way. Well, that's the best as I can do for now. And jump way back here. These two doors are not meant for the best back seat room. There's your good off view back here. Your two little storage clips and cup holders back here. Two reading lights for for the rear passengers. Speakers up ab above the roll bar there. You also have two molded up there in the dash. Here's the best view of the dash I can get from the back seat. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and snake myself out of here. Getting out from the back is easier said than done. Overall, it's a very nice Jeep. I'm going to shut it down here. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 2-door. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.